Hello, hello. So this is just a hodge project project really quick. So I found this um this twelve by twelve piece of red paper that I had in my stash because you know whatever reason I had it in there. And so I used a poncho here and some bling and I used the love is the key to happiness stamp. And the, and I made this box. This box is from my um, cameo silhouette. So um in here I have sassy stamps. I um I got them off of Facebook. And I'm not going to put them on here because they're inappropriate for just in case, you know, we got babies on here. Anybody 18 and under, I ain't about to be offending nobody. But, and that's why I put it because I, I have a card stand that I use. But for these, of course, I don't want them on that stand just in case, you know, these innocent little kids come past. So I'm going to put them in these and put the disclaimer on there. So I actually made three cards. Um, and this is the third one, but I'm going to cover this up because it's an inappropriate word on there. And so I was able to make three cards and then I just put some bling here. And then I was gonna make three cards in that box, and then I just keeping the stamps in there until uh, so, cause I'll be gonna put them somewhere else and misplace them. So like I said, it's a hodgepodge of different projects. So that's that one. And then I tried my hand. I've done this before of the star um, book, and so I used this ribbon right here, and this is some black and white ribbon. And then I glued this yellow, the yellow ribbon on top of it with some uh, fabric tack. And then I used that um, the fray stuff to put on the edge so it didn't fray. And this is how this looks. And I used some stamps in here. So place photo here. And this is a stamp. And I just left this blank just so you can see the pretty paper. Same here. Right there. Right there or right there. I thought I had another one in here. And then it just opened you know, up and never your your star. Hopefully, but that's how it supposed to um, go. And it's just a, I had a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, and I, oh, this is cute. I'm going to do another one. I have um the one that's just pretty much, well, it's got that same black background, I guess you could say, and it's butterflies. So I'm going to do another one, and it's going to be the butterflies. I have to decide what pattern paper I'm going to use um, to match that, but that is this one. So I will be doing another one. Yeah. Short sleeve. Do that like that, and then this right here. I'm trying to think where I get this tutorial from. Um, because I've been doing stuff and I forget. So, this right here, oh, Bella Creations. Um, she's on a Facebook group. She is here on YT. I can't think of her YT name. Um, YT, her YouTube name. But uh, if I can remember, I will link it down below. But I know she's Bella Creations. She has a, um, I got these on her Etsy page. And so, this is just like a little journal, um, thing. So, it's a little, and this is some old paper that I had. I really like it. I got a lot of it. It's in. I think stationary desk is what I think it's called. Um, so you got a little pocket right here. You got a pocket here. And this is like I made that other, um, that yellow and black journal a while back, a couple months ago. And I cut everything from my silhouette. This is the same um, designer or I guess business. And so then I did this little thing. Got a little tag here. You can put stuff in there. And I just keep it closed with this little, little thing here. Turn the page, and we have this. And so then over here, and that belly bands is a little journal in there. And over here is another pocket. And see, this is how it makes it a journal. See, and you could put it if you wanted to. I put those two holes in it. It could be a signature put in here, a signature in the middle right there. And then you got to put it then because you ain't got a lot of room. But another signature gonna go there, or a, a folder. And then you turn it in this. Um, this also comes, you know, in that um, file, even though, you know, they got the ones you can buy. You just tuck stuff in there. And then over here is a pocket, a gusseted pocket. So I'm thinking about making myself one because I go to a lot of events and I be having, like, business cards. And I be wanting to keep them. So I think I'm going to make me one of these. But I think on each page I'm just going to, well, and I'm going to do this, but I'm going to probably do it wider because I, the business card won't fit in here. So I can do it up and down, but I want it. I want a landscape and not portrait, so I can stick them in there. So I do this whole thing, but each one would be those slots for me to. Or I could just do it like this and just tuck it in different, you know what I'm saying, places like this too. To make it more interesting, I probably won't do this and make this into another pocket. But I am going to make me one of these cute little things to put in my thing. So once I get these, of course, I want to keep them. I um, they have this one location for them. This got a little magnet on it. So, and I did make another one of these, and you'll see it in an upcoming project because I, um, 
using up paper and so I used up a paper pad and so that I made another one of these but this is going to be in that video with everything else I made to use up that paper pad. Alright my crafty peeps, thanks for watching.